Peggy18. Salut à toutes et à tous, c'est Rimi Gaming. Aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour le chapitre 4 de Max Payne 3. Dans ce chapitre, nous allons en savoir un peu plus sur le passé de Max. Je vous laisse après cet épisode et on se retrouve à la fin de la vidéo. A tout de suite Less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony. His dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer. Pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> This kid had a well developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old, out man, here. old man. A nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old Jeez. man. Very it up. fucking it up, funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up all cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or <laughs> how you got involved with killers. Oh. <laughs> I own this town, Amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Hey, you don't take that from this punk. Tom. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him of. But I might start any time. Now say you're sorry. Shut up. Fucking say you're sorry. Ass being caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop cut. Don't act clever. I will blow your brains all over this counter, every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Calm down. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before any of you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. I'm a fuck. Go on. I'm a fuck off. I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I got to it. Base. Yeah? Stay right, right here. Here. Stay right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, He had a great me. set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúde. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm both. Saúde. Saúde. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now, fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment,
Stay cool or we might survive this. Fucking hell. Ah. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Hidden away for a rainy day. We gonna do this? The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized. Partnerships start as they mean to go on. Who got me into this shit? Come on! I still didn't remember having met Passos before. But then again, I didn't have any friends left from those days, and I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Set me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put. Trust it.
Let's go, man. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. No thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Yeah, that looks about right. You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! might make the pain of leaving somewhat easier. I guess I thought if I was gonna be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. The joys of hygiene! It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right.
I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun, just a stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming in at Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up there! Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Help there, brother. I needed his help five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Okay, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. Andrew! 
always one step ahead. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. to the street. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Don't show the blood so much. How's this look? these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. Think you need a hand? No, do you?
Let's go, Vigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Bon et eh bien voilà, le chapitre 4 est terminé. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à la chaîne pour continuer à voir cette aventure, de liker la vidéo et de la mettre dans vos favoris. Et je vous dis à la prochaine pour la suite de ce let's play. Bye tout le monde